So in terms of your new single, we're loving Lazy Love. You've both been making strides solo. How did the collab come about? Oh my God. How did it come about? So your manager and my A&R are really close friends anyway. And I'd met uh, JPL a few times before. Um, and I think I had Lazy Love and I was like, I really want a strong female on this track that like, mm -hmm. her and had a lit video, do you know what I mean? And someone that I actually like, like their music and stuff like that. So you were the one, you were literally the first person that I thought of and we reached out to oh. you. That we went for dinner and we like got acquainted and, you know, chatted. And then we had the video, so it was really Yeah, fun. I remember I heard the song and I loved it. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know what I can do on this. Like, I remember I was like, this is, cause it's so different from what I do. Like, mm -hmm. and I was like, but then again, it, it came at the right time because that's where I was talking about being versatile and being different. Mm -hmm. So my manager yeah. was like, try it. And I was just like, do you know what? Okay, so I did my verse and I just fell in love with it. And then I was like, no, we have to meet. And then when I met her, we got along so well. And I was like, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, <laughs> it was works. so well, yeah. Yeah, it's magic. It looks really good. And the video, it has a very, the boy is mine feel to it. Mine mm -hmm. is Randy and Monica drama. Was that intentional? Yeah. Mm -hmm. was, yeah. But that was like the concept of the, and you know, with like the Brandy versus Monica thing, mm -hmm. I felt like it was just, a it was relevant. And like, mm -hmm. we were able to be together on the shoot. Like, it's not like we were fighting over the boy and we didn't yeah. like each other. It's like, we were fighting and we were like, basically, we're, yeah, we're joining powers. Mm -hmm. We're on the team. And I wanted to show that to girls that like, that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. I love that. When you got that sisterhood vibe, like you had each other's back. Yes. Yeah, period. <laughs> Don't fight over man, I'm sorry. No. Nobody gets out no. for that. Well, Never. speaking of man, we've all had partners that had that lazy love with their dirty selves. What advice <laughs> would you give the people to keep the flame burning? Oh, oh. I'll help you there, so unfortunately. No. Um, I, do you know what? me and relationships it just doesn't work so I, I'm not really good at advice I'm only good at advice on how to move on mm -hmm. so you that's advice to so how yeah. do you, where do you think is the right point to know when it's time to move on when you just start to feel like you they, they're not valuing you as how they did in the beginning because with me personally I don't know if I believe in like all the love stuff anymore because I thought I always in the same cycle of like in the beginning it's sweet it's nice so then later on down the line they just start to change and for me it's the change part for me that I just always let them go because it's like why can't you just stay the same so for me also disrespect I don't tolerate um a lot of girls tend to be like okay well we can work this out I think mm -hmm. we're too young to do stuff like that I think your 20s are the time for just moving on enjoying your life and I don't I feel like you should be trying to work things out with anyone at this point so I feel like yeah I don't know <laughs> sorry keep it moving keep it moving period I feel like with me as well like I can relate to you in that way I feel like I've had a series of like mm -hmm. bad like not bad relationships I don't want to say that but do you know what I mean mm -hmm. like in the beginning then it starts like you really start getting to know the mm. person I have a very low tolerance for I'm trying not to swear. Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> I don't think so. Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> Please skip it. Skip I might because I'm like, I'm so uh, Anyway, so yeah, I just think it's about moving on 100% and just never looking back, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back 110%. Left for no reason. Mm -hmm. No, it's all about self love, protecting your peace, and keep it moving. And they'll always be back. <laughs> they of always course. come back, but then again, that's for you to be like, no, you know what? I'm better than this. Because a lot mm -hmm. of girls, oh, he come back, so he cares. They do it to everyone. Mm -hmm. So just be a They're woman. <laughs> accessible to them, you know? Yeah, man. No. Um, no. That. So <laughs> jumping back to the music, individually, you both have such unique sounds. Who are some of your inspirations? Um, so for me, I guess, I think we're, the reason why we work so well together is because like, 
I feel like I'm trying to be like the next Rihanna, like, um, do you know what I mean? Come for that kind of spot. And then my girl's trying to be like, do you know what I mean? On the kind of level as Nicki Minaj and that kind of shit there. So I feel Brilliant. like together we we could really, do you know what I mean? Just grow at the same point. And I think that's so exciting to just like have someone to be like, you know what I mean? Latch onto a bit and be like, oh my God, babe, like, what do I do with this? Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because we, um, when we first met, it's like, I was like, oh my God, who do you see yourself like the next? And she was like, Rihanna. I was like, oh my God, Nikki. So the fact that we both had like people we look up to and it's not anything, oh, we're taking your, your spot or mm -hmm. anything. It's like, we want to follow your footsteps in a positive yeah. way mm -hmm. to be exactly where you are because it's just amazing what they've done. And I feel like it's possible yeah. for other females to do the same, especially from the UK. Like that would be mm -hmm. so big. So yeah, following their footsteps, adding your own flavor, bringing your own vibe. Yeah, doing exactly. So well. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you both have the. I'll oh, go on, hand. I was gonna say, yeah, I like I like loads of artists though. Like I like I like all genres of music, like drill. Mm like all this kind of house, like upbeat music. I like everything. So I think that's going to play into part with my music. Like eventually you're going to see different styles that I can do, you know, as you were saying with versatility, I feel like I don't want to just be a garage artist. I want to show like all my other sides as well, eventually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's yeah. really for it. Yes. Make it happen, make mm -hmm. it happen. Um, so you both have the industry buzzing. Lost Girl, what's next for you? Um, so I actually am shooting my next video, my next video for my next single. It's called Rockabye. And Congrats. And <laughs> garage Bob. It's probably it's like the most garage I've made yet, basically. So <laughs> throwing it. But it's it's lit. It's I'm rapping on it and yeah. I'm it's excited. Thanks, girl. <laughs> It sounds like we're going to see some more from you, a lot more that we haven't seen yet so far. That's mm -hmm. exciting. I always tell her she's going to be big. Like, I can look at someone and be like, yeah. And sometimes when you meet them, you can just tell they have this star quality about them. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she has it. So she's going to be big. Like, I definitely, I'm always right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Let okay. the talent shine, girls. Ivory and Dole, what's next for you? I mean, especially coming off of the back of the epic Daily Duffy, which now has 1.2 million views. Honestly, it's crazy. Um, I'm working on my project that's going to come out in the beginning of next year. Um, I have um, two more videos I'm shooting. Well, three. Three, two more videos I'm shooting, like my own songs, just before the end of the year. Oh, wow. So the next song that I released, it's just going to be so I'm just hoping it, is, it goes very well because it's not Drew anymore that's my new sound we're now moving into the Megan and the Nikki sound okay. and we're doing bigger and better videos American style I'm very excited yeah. <laughs> you've got a lot going on there's only a few weeks to the end of the year we love to see it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I can't wait man I can't wait it's going to be Girl. so good <laughs> it's going to be lit man yeah man well you're both in the early stage of your journey what mm -hmm. has been the best and worst advice that you've been given so far oh um do you know I think, I think the best advice I've been given is to have tunnel vision mm -hmm. so it's to kind of just focus on what I want and like um, the best advice as well, always to just speak things into existence. And for example, because the Daily Duppy, like I was turning down every freestyle platform because I was wishing and hoping Daily Duppy would reach out to me one day. And they did. And obviously it, it just was big. So I'm like, wow. So always know what you want. That was the best advice. And the worst advice was when people tell me, oh, you know, explain yourself. I, I don't, I think that's very bad because I just feel like not everything deserves a reaction. You don't always need to explain why you did something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say to people coming in, like if you do something and obviously you don't feel like you need to explain yourself, don't explain yourself. Not everyone deserves, because then you're just going to be them artists that just keep replying to people and then you just look really depressed. Yeah. That's what I would say. No, I completely agree with you. I feel like to this point, I can't really think of much like, bad advice I've been given so far because 
the people that I've been surrounded with so far in my journey have all been so like unquestionable if you know what I mean Mm -hmm. with Tiny and Kelly and Xavier like it it feels like a family now and I I, Mm -hmm. I know you same with JPL you know when Mm -hmm. you just know someone like has your best for you in your journey yeah of course so everything that Tiny and the the others say to me like I can take that so literally because he's been there and achieved it and now he's trying to you know help to guide me to do the same thing so I have so much faith in the people around me oh, that's very yeah. important as well to have yeah. like people on your team that you trust and have already yeah. done the journey because then there's no one trying to because some managers can end up trying to you're getting too big for your boots and now you think you're the artist and it's like well that's not it so she's lucky as well because she's obviously has tiny and he's done it he's been there he's ready at the top for her to be mentored by someone like that there's no doubt she'll get there because the person's already done it do you know what I mean so it's just a waiting game really and hard work of course yeah it's a matter of time I think for both of us I can't but it's the journey that's the most important bit and I'm so I'm loving like every single minute of it of course there's bad days so sometimes I'm like I'm really overwhelmed but Mm. No, it's so lit like we're in such a good place and you're both oh. continuing to grow and evolve yeah. as mm-hmm. you continue to grow and evolve in your careers who would your dream collabs be mine would be everyone knows Nikki so you know but I would say um, Megan as well because I see a lot of myself in her like the whole fun side and just trying to enjoy life um yeah I would say Nikki or Megan would be like my dream collab lit I would, yeah, say Rihanna, or I would say Frank Ocean. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, that's a please. good one. Yeah. <laughs> so lit. I love Frank Ocean. Oh my God, I used to be such a big fan. Like, mm-hmm. obviously I, I, I'm not now, but I used to listen to Frank Ocean a lot. I just think his music is amazing. So deep and makes you think. Emotional, like. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Do you have a favorite album of his? I like just everything. Out of curiosity. I- I I like Channel Orange, but I do love Blonde. Blonde, I think, it's just it's so weird, but I think that's why I like it. Mm-hmm. It's different mm-hmm. to what's mainstream, you know. I like his song. Was it called Novocaine? That, yeah. yeah, yeah. He made a song like that. I was yeah. wow. That's, <laughs> I hear Frank Ocean, and that's the song that comes to mind. Novocaine is from, beautiful. Yeah. And mm-hmm. swim, swim good. Was it swim, swim good? good? Yeah, yeah. It's a banger. That takes me back to like, oh, when I think about what I was doing in my life back then. It's yeah. <laughs> when Swim Good come out, I was so young. I know. <laughs> well, thinking about the next year ahead, what do you want to both have achieved a year from now? Um, I think a year from now, I need to be... Do you know what? It's think big in it because I, I everything I say comes to pass. So I know I will have a big American collab by next, but it's gonna happen. I don't know how, but it's gonna happen. I think next year, people, I believe, obviously I'm speaking into existence. I believe uh-huh. people will be like, "How the hell did this happen so quickly? This is not real. It must be a label behind." Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. I think people are gonna be like her journey just doesn't make sense this is incredible that's what I'm hoping for no that that's such a good thing to speak into existence man hundreds yeah man you have to because I I I honestly believe in like all that manifesting Mm -hmm. thing and I generally feel like it's I feel like I've manifested everything that's happened to me so far and I feel like if you believe it do you know what I mean because who's going to believe it you have to believe in yourself you're going to get there then the universe kind of just brings people towards you because you're just bringing in that positive energy. So it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. No, I completely... I, I would say the same thing, to be honest. Um, mm-hmm. Wait, I've forgotten the question. What was the question? <laughs> it's all right. So a year from now, what do you want to have achieved? Oh, oh yeah, that was it. Um, I want to have, like, loads of music out. Like, I want there to be so much music that people can... You, become a fan of and I want people to hear my story I want to I want people to literally just know not know everything about me but everything that I write about I want them to just completely get it and relate and I want to inspire people as well with what I write so yeah 
Mm-hmm. More greatness, yeah. more songs, American collabs, manifesting it all. Yeah. Period. Well, ladies, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to catch up with you. And all the best of your single. Oh, thank, thank you, guys. <laughs> Take care.